YouTube, what is good today? We are talking about filters. Specifically, a filter that I think goes extremely underrated for most photographers out there. Now, first and foremost, check this out, all right? You, you see this? See what's going on right here? Now, hang, hang on, let me take this off. You notice the difference? Put that back on. That difference is what we're talking about today. So first and foremost, what are some filters that we typically keep inside of our camera bags? Now, everyone knows about the polarizer. It takes glare off of reflective stuff and also gives you a nice blue sky gradient. We all love polarizers. It's the one you learn about first. Typically. Now the second filter that most people keep in their bag is the classic ND filter, mostly used for video because you need consistency between the shutter speed of your shots depending on what lighting scenarios you're in. So if you're inside and you have your shutter speed at 150, you go outside, there's way more light, you still need that 150 to look professional. ND filter gets the job done. Boom, it's like sunglasses for your lens. Check that out. Now, the filter that goes kind of underrated for photographers, not as much for video, videographers typically know about this, but it never makes the transition from videographers to photographers for some reason, that's why I'm making this video today, is the Tiffin Pro Mist filter, specifically the Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter. That's the one that I like to use. Now, specifically, or I guess simplistically, that's, I'm mixing up my words here. Simplistically speaking, this is just a diffuser. And what that means is it removes contrast. Now, in that example I showed you at the beginning with the good old flashlight, notice how the flashlight is kind of like hazy. There's like some angel-esque haze thing going on around the light. I don't know what you call it. There's a technical word for it, but that is what you're achieving with a diffuser. The light, the details, the contrast, everything is being spread out very nicely. Now, the Tiffin Black Pro Mist Filter is especially special love it when I do that, especially special because I guess they worked in some type of like black specks into here. People say you can see it, but I'm not seeing anything. I don't know. Ex well, basically what these black specks do is they help maintain some of the contrast while also keeping the diffusing effect. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds here. So a normal pro mist or a normal diffusing filter by another brand would cause your blacks to kind of get lost. They'd be flattened out. Whereas with the pro mist filter, your blacks are still nice and punchy and you still have some contrast. It's basically perfect. I don't really know what you call the technology involved with all this. I don't know how they do it, but it's one of the main reasons why black pro mist filters are so popular amongst filmmakers and amongst YouTubers like myself. Notice my skin is smoothed out a little bit. My highlights have a nice glow to them. Behind me, these lights have a nice glow. There's a lot of atmosphere in this room and it just feels a little less digital. It feels more like something you might see on TV. If you watch shows that take place in like dark seedy areas, it always feels like the room is filled with smoke, it's probably because they're using some type of diffuser to intensify the effect and add a real mysterious feel, I guess you could say. But why are these underutilized by photographers? And I think the reason why is because most people don't know about them. They're primarily used in video, they're primarily talked about in video. I found out about them because I started this YouTube channel and I'm like, yo, I need my footage to look less digital, bang, pro mist. There's like a million videos about it. Now these black pro mist filters come in a variety of strengths. They come in a quarter stop, a half stop, and I think they even go all the way up to a full stop, but you gotta be, you gotta be a madman to use the full stop black pro mist filter. Me personally, I like using the quarter a lot of the times. Now, before we get into how I use pro mist filters for my photography, I really quick wanna thank the sponsor on today's video, Skillshare. For a limited time, use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people alike. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Courses cover a variety of topics from design, photography, and filmmaking to productivity, marketing, and web development. One new course that's particularly interesting to me is filmmaking from home, turn found footage into compelling video taught by Penny Lane. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so that way you can stay focused and follow your creativity wherever it takes you. Skillshare is all about offering memberships with with meaning and empowering you to accomplish real growth. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription.
subscription. So for a limited time, use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now when it comes to my photography, I use Promise filters like an effect I would use in Photoshop or in Lightroom or in editing. Essentially, it's an in-camera effect. So when I go out to make photos, I think to myself, do I want the effect of the Promise filter? Do I want this diffusion? Do I want this addition to my highlights, this little bit of haze, this atmosphere? And if the answer is yes, throw it on the lens. And if the answer is no, that's cool too. You gotta know the time and place to use it. And the way you're gonna learn that is just through experience and trial and error. But the times that I like to use this lens are when I'm going for more of a vibe in my photos. Now I know the word vibe is not a great descriptive word, but it is what it is. That's really the best way I can describe it. When I want my photos to feel like something more, when I want there to be a little more of a dreamy look, a little more of an atmosphere, just a little more something, I'll throw the Pro Mist on and I typically get what I'm going for. You see, digital photography can feel way too digital sometimes, to the point where it ruins your image, in my personal opinion. There's been some portraits I've made before where the lighting is great, the exposure's great, the model's great, and I look at it and say, there's something off about this. It like feels too robotic. It doesn't feel real, and a Promis filter can help out with that. Now, I also love using the Promis filter at night for the same reason. The added glow effect to lights, this added halo, just adds more atmosphere and feel to your image. Now, something I always preach on this YouTube channel is get as many layers as you can into your photography when it makes sense. So if you're making a landscape, you want mid-ground, foreground, background, you want a subject, if you can fit one in there, the more more things the better and this filter acts as essentially a thing in your photo by adding it on you get that little bit of atmosphere it helps fill up your frame and it adds another layer of interest now granted there are times that you can overuse this by using a half stop at certain times you might lose detail that you want and the effect kind of works against you you don't want to over glam your image so maybe start one eighth one fourth black pro mist filtered by tiffin or just diffusers in general are great tools that are underutilized by photographers and deserve a place in everyone's camera bag along with their polarizer and their ND filter. Thank you all for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time.